G'day, this is uh, Matthew Robert Payne. Uh, this is uh, just a prophetic word of uh, Heidi, Baker, Heidi Baker of Iris Ministries in uh, Mozambique. Uh, the Lord uh, put uh, Heidi on my heart this morning and uh, funnily enough uh, I got an email from a friend uh, saying a testimony of Roland Baker how he got a bit uh, sick and uh, it was just a confirmation that the Lord wanted to speak through me so uh, um, for all those who know Heidi Baker um, perhaps you can forward this uh, prophecy on uh, the Lord says that uh, He's uh, very happy with uh, the job that uh, Heidi is doing. He uh, is excited about the time she spends uh, at his feet, uh, serving him and resting in him and getting her sustenance from him. He says that uh, you're a precious jewel in my crown. Uh, if you could only realize how much I adore you. Uh, uh, I wish uh, I had people like you in every country around the world. I, I wish that uh, I could duplicate you a hundred times. I know that uh, you you mentor many, many, many people and teach many people. It's just that uh, your time is limited and uh, I wish uh, that uh, you had uh, tremendous resources uh, and the resources are coming. More and more people are coming to assist you. I'm going to raise up leaders and uh, more leadership. Uh, people who uh, aren't interested in money and financial gain are uh, going to raise up and send to you people from all around the world. Uh, in fact, your name is going to be made great in the, in the peoples of the world and uh, although your name is made great now, I'm going to take it outside of the Pentecostal realms and uh, take it into the traditional churches and uh, make your name great so that to bring an influx of people uh, to, to your ministry, people that can serve you in all sorts of ways, in administration and in healing and in church planning and in organisation, in printing, in uh, servicing, in, in uh, duplicating everything in, in your ministry, people that to assist you and serve you and uh, do all sorts of uh, different jobs uh, and assist you and make you bigger in, 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 the, um, in the world. I, I love the, the way you worship me. I love the way that you serve me. Uh, if it could be done better, uh, there, there, there'd be a way that you'd be doing it. You're always seeking me for direction. You don't move off in the strong hand of the flesh, in the strong arm of the flesh, but you walk by the Spirit as I am Spirit and I am Truth. You walk in my truth and you walk in my Spirit all the time. You're seeking me all the time. You're seeking me for my words of wisdom and directional words. All the time you're putting your hand out. And all the time you're putting your, your, your ears out to hear what I've got to say. It's a tremendous, it's a tremendous privilege to know you, Heidi. It's a tremendous privilege to work with you. Uh, like I said, I wish I had 10,000 of you, Heidi's. I wish uh, I had 10,000 of you, Heidi and Roland Baker's. Uh, I, I wish that uh, the people of the world would rise up and, and, and take a leaf out of your book and duplicate. Surely the Apostle Paul, surely the Apostle Peter uh, would have been uh, proud of you. In fact, as the great crowd of witnesses, they are proud. They hear that we sing your praises in heaven. Surely you're, you are inscribed on my hand. Your works go before you. The treasures in heaven are stored up before you. What I love so much about you, Heidi, is uh, you live in poverty. You live uh, with uh, lack and, and, and lack. And uh, you don't have big bank accounts and you don't have uh, expensive cars and you don't travel in Learjets and uh, you set an example to the people of the world. You set a fine example of what it is to serve in poverty of spirit, to, to serve in humility. Uh, Matthew heard one time it's easy for you to get the anointing because you live so low to the ground and it's easy for you to go into any church and feel the trickle of the anointing. He's impressed so much, it's so hard for him to give a prophetic word knowing so much about your ministry and admiring you. But in, in an act of obedience, he, he, he uh, speaks on behalf of me. 
I want you to uh, seek me further for further books. Uh, I want you to learn how to dictate a book uh, rather than write a book uh, for you to dictate a book and sit down with chapter by chapter and just speak into a dictaphone and have someone fix up the book. I want you to just to speak from my word and speak for five hours or six hours and let a book be produced. Uh, I want you to be able to uh, duplicate yourself and I'm bringing the people to duplicate yourself. I want you to have productions, uh, productions, uh, professional people to produce materials that can be duplicated and transferred all around the world. You, you hold the, the keys of wisdom, you hold the key of David. Uh, you, you hold so many keys for the proper Christian life, the supernatural uh, life of, of, of an apostle, uh, an apostle of power, apostle of grace, apostle of humility and great learning and great sacrifice. Oh, I hear the tears that you cry and, and the power is in the tears. I hear the tears of intercession. I hear that uh, you can't make it through a day without miracles. Uh, Matthew heard one time you want miracles in your life, set yourself up in a position where you need a miracle to get through the day and certainly you live in that environment. In, in fact, it would be so hard for you to resettle in the West with its uh, lukewarm gospel and its lukewarm people and its lukewarm living. Uh, surely you are a pe peculiar person in a peculiar generation. You are, you are a city set on a hill. You are a light uh, that uh, is not shining under a bushel. You are the proliferation of the 111 commands of Jesus that Matthew knows. You you are an acting, walking, talking apostle of grace, full of signs and wonders confirming your word. So the little children, come to me little children, and little children flock to you just as they flock to my son. There's so many things I've got to say to you. I'm so proud of you. Uh, heaven rejoices uh, every day that uh, you uh, put your uh, face to the ground and uh, you worship me in intercession and, and you come to me in intercession. Surely the whole of heaven hears your tears and the whole of heaven hears your intercession and the saints of heaven join in one chorus of prayer and pray for the miraculous to happen. Oh yes, you've got your trials and you've got the things that you go through that prayers don't answer and that strengthens your character and strengthens your resolve. You know, we know of the things that you can't get breakthrough, the opposition that you can't break down, the things that you're pleading for that just won't come to pass and we know of those things and we've heard of those prayers and we, we uh, encourage you just to endure in affliction and endure with the opposition and just endure the race like Jesus uh, strove to bloodshed. He, in in uh, Hebrews 12 it says that uh, you haven't uh, resisted to bloodshed, you haven't persisted to bloodshed and Jesus was under so much pressure he sweated blood and uh, that's a lot of pressure and uh, so Heidi you haven't sweated blood yet and uh, endurance is the, the ability to go on against impossible odds and you know all about endurance don't surely the, the prayers and the blockages are there for a reason and we've got our reasons and we've got our times and seasons I pray that uh, Matthew prays that uh, you'll go from strength to strength, that uh, you'll lead the world, that, that you'll teach the world, that through books, videos and films you'll teach the world how to be proper apostles and how to walk in a proper anointing. Matthew's prayer for you is that uh, you duplicate yourself all over the world and uh, you become a McDonald's franchise to 15,000 restaurants around the world. May there be 15,000 Heidi Bakers and Roland Bakers around the world. May uh, your anointing pass on in the full measure and uh, may, uh, may the world be set alight uh, through Heidi Baker and Iris Ministries. Uh, I pray that uh, this receives you with, with peace and love and, and in great comfort. Um, I, I pray that this encourages everybody that hears it. I, um, in Jesus' name I ask. Amen.